true. I was his right-hand man back in Arkham City. No wonder he ended up dead. So how come you're not working with Harley now, then? You know, we never really got along. I think she was jealous, you know? The militia's network of explosives has been disarmed, sir. Well done. Alfred, I'm going to give myself in to Scarecrow. It's the only way to save Robin and Jim. Consider your decision wisely, sir. There could be no coming back from this. up and we're done. Both of us. There's no coming back. So this is the end. No bones left to break. No heads left to crack. No pinky fingers left to, well, you know, sort of bend backwards into a custom-made vice and slowly crush while you apply electric shocks to your victim's eyeballs. Oh, I always knew I'd be there when you died, Bats. I just didn't realize I'd be in your head. But who knows? Maybe Scarecrow will pump you full of gas and let me go. All right, then. Let's do this. Your fears got the better of you, I see. How fitting that I will win, and Batman's life will be over. Not because of what I have done to your precious city, but because you are scared of what I will do to your friends, your family. They are your weakness, hiding just below the surface. I'm sure that you're scared of what will happen when I tear that mask from your face. What will we find? Your true identity? Or proof that without your mask, you are nothing? Impotent, powerless, afraid? Leave your equipment on that table, and we can find out. Forgetting something? They wouldn't want to get caught with your pants down. <laughs> I can't go back out there without my equipment.
such a happy couple. Shame about the kid, though. Poor little Brucey never quite got over it, now did he? Well, there's no point crying over spilled blood. <laughs> it's time to move on, kiddo. Let go. Take a load off. Join your parents. Uncle Jay will take it from here. Becoming you, you becoming me. <laughs> it was written in the stars. <laughs> Just imagine the fun we'll have when I'm in charge. <laughs> Bruce, take a look around. Now I hate to be a pessimist, but you are a tad outnumbered. Finally lost it, eh? Finally snapped. My neck. <laughs> no denying it this time. You've got the mind of a killer. And that mind is mine. It's over, Bruce. You crossed the blood red line. And now Scarecrow's going to set me free. <laughs> Sorry, Robin. Are you ready? This isn't going to end how you think, Crane. Enough bravado. It's too late for that. I don't care who you are. But they will. I'm going to rob them of hope. As they stare into your eyes, they will blame you. Failure will have a face and a name. It's time. Mr. Gordon, I would like you to do the honors. Never. I'm done taking orders from you. You bastard! Take off that mask, or my next shot will kill him. It's okay. It's not okay! You know what this means. It's the end. 
When they find out who you are, there'll be no hiding. You need to trust me, Jim. Get this done. No, no. We need to do this right. He needs to face justice. This son of a bitch killed 50 of our men. I say we finish him before he wakes up. He's too dangerous. We've got a hundred guns trained on him. He's going nowhere. Mm -hmm. huh? Guys, guys, guys! <laughs> It's great to see you. I had a devil of a time tracking you down. Tracking us down? We caught you! Oh, Cobblepot. Always cruel, but never cunning. Croc, old boy, you might want to die. Huh? Shoot! Think of all we've been through! Now, all right, cobblers. Because you groveled so nicely. Thank you. <laughs> ah, I changed my mind. You, come here. No, 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 no. Stop struggling. Get off me! You'll have to go through her to get to me. There still must be some things you won't do. I can't believe you. A hostage, Nigma. How very twee. of genocide. You can't stop me. <laughs> stop. Stop this madness. Please. Shh. Be 
my finest work yet. Please listen to me. After all the good you've done for the city, I'm all going. So I'm begging you, Master Bruce. That man, you have to listen. Think of your family, Bruce. Your father, what would he say if he saw you like this? Please, please stop this rampage. Oh, Alfred, sweet, loyal Alfred. Master Bruce is gone. But don't you worry, your new master's coming home. <laughs> Do you know what happens now, Mr. Wayne? I'm not going to kill you. I'm going to set you free. Free to see the city you swore to defend tear itself apart. Free to see everyone you love hunted down and killed. Every scream, every death. Vengeance for all that Batman has done. Good. What? Do you not understand? It is over. Get ready for the encore. <laughs> Why aren't you scared? <laughs> Guess I'm toxin proof. Hey, bats! You still here? Bats? Is that you? Oh, bats! Jokes can be in bad taste! <laughs> See, old boy? You want the death of me? Harley? You call this a wake? Where is everybody? Oh, forgot to send the invites, didn't you? Harley? Stop your sobbing and rustle me up awake! Harley? Harley? I know what you're trying to do, Bats. You and your toxin. You think this scares me? <laughs> In Gotham with me, Vicky Vale. And me, Glenn Woodburn. So, Glenn, today marks the one year anniversary of the Joker's death. Any thoughts on the occasion? Sorry, who? <laughs> the Joker, you remember? The question mark guy. He's dead? No, not him. Sorry, Vic, you gotta help me out. <laughs> you know what? It doesn't matter. Let's forget about him and move on. Yes, let's forget about him and move on. In other 
afternoons, a museum dedicated to Batman and his arch nemesis, the Penguin, opened on Bleak Island today. Oh, you think that's scary, Bats? When I get out of here, I'll write my name in blood on every street corner. I'll carve it on every corpse. I'll... I'll... No one's forgetting me! No. How do I get out of here? You know, you almost had me scared back there. Me? <laughs> what have I got to be afraid of? You're afraid of being ashes. You're afraid of being forgotten. And you will be forgotten, Joker. Because of me. Joker. No, Bruce! Don't leave me! Please! I need you. Do you understand, Gotham? You have no savior. No more hope. No more Batman. I've won. I'm not afraid, Crane. Impossible. Without fear, life is meaningless. Oh. 
wrong. Scared. He's strong. He's going to be okay. Look after him, Jim. Look after them all. You've been a good friend. The best I could ask for. You were there at the beginning. And now... You get to see how it ends. Best gift you've brought us all night. I can't believe he showed up. So Bruce Wayne, huh? If it's all the same to you, I'll stick to Batman. No, no. You sound scared, Crane. Get used to it. Prepare the Nightfall Protocol. Are you sure? There's no other way, Alfred. It needs voice confirmation. Martha. Very good, Master Bruce. You can be sure your instructions will be followed. The Batwing is on its way to the rendezvous point. Alfred, the city's safe. Excellent work, sir. Gotham's villainous contingent has been brought to task yet again. You should be immensely proud of your achievements. The city is forever in your debt. It's time for nightfall. Everything is in place, sir. The Batwing is on its way to the GCPD rendezvous point. First Ace Chemicals, now this. Man, I thought Gordon had weeded out all the bent cops. Hey, we don't know what Taking that mask off was a big mistake. Now you're just a man. There you are. Secret identity revealed, huh? You want to talk about it? On television? So you don't usually invite me to the Wayne Manor Christmas ball, but we're like old war buddies now, right? Taking on Deacon Blackfire together? 
This explains why the rogue reporter I told everyone about in my trial couldn't access your voicemails. Look, I, uh, just want to say sorry for all those things I said to you about Bruce Wayne and, uh, all those things I said to Bruce Wayne about Batman. Blackfire's getting some interest with the networks. I'm playing it cool. Can't look too desperate. Just had the mayor on the phone. Says he's sending over an arrest warrant for Bruce Wayne. Shame. Our fax machine had a little accident. Business as usual out there, Batman. Still a lot of trash needs digging out. This is our city, Deacon. We're the law around here. Tim and your dad are fine. They're being picked up from the asylum and taken to the mainland. I spoke to them a moment ago. Thanks, Bruce. It's funny. I was waiting for Dad to do his protective father bit. I had it all ready in my head what I was going to say. But he didn't go there. He just told me that he loved me and that he was proud. Maybe he hit his head. Maybe he's starting to see you. The real you. What are you going to do, Bruce? Finish it. <laughs> Good. I'm just getting warmed up. Thanks again, Bruce, for going after Tim and Dad. I'm just sorry what it cost you in the end. I can liaise with Alfred from here. We'll update your intel as soon as we locate anything. Hey, if you get stuck for something to do, how about we take Scarecrow to the roof and dangle him over the edge? I thought it was funny. I don't know if I'm still hallucinating, but I could have sworn I heard guys around here say you were Bruce Wayne. It, it, it's true, isn't it? It's really you, Gotham's playboy. I don't know what to say. I mean, Batman's been around for so long, you, you forget that there's a real person under the mask, you know? Let alone a person like, well, like you. Sorry, no disrespect. I tell you, seeing Scarecrow over there in that cell, knowing what he's going through, Makes me feel a whole lot better. Looks like we might need thicker glass next time. I was afraid this would happen. Cash got off a couple rounds, but it was too quick. No way we're gonna stop that day. Happy Halloween, huh? I think Ivy tried to brainwash me with those pheromones of hers when she was here. <laughs> I resisted. Didn't think you'd be back here. You know, now that the secret's out. Good to see Scarecrow in there getting a taste of his own medicine. This has got Ryder written all over it. Come on, this is Vale's story. She's got the inside track. Somehow I don't Let think there be. Can... Well, well. Would you add a manese? Bruce Bloody White and Batman. The two people I hate most in the world. Standing child. right in front of me. I'm never forgiving you, Wayne. The Cobblepot should be running this city, not your stinking family. It is no one but the Lord. My old man lost all that money, and who did oh, he take it out on? Muggins here. I have no Shipped need me off to that poxy boarding school. Panel. Well, well, would you Adam and Ethan, Bruce Bloody Wayne and Batman, the two people Ever I hate most in the world, standing man. right in front of me. Ever seen a napalm drop at night? Most beautiful thing in the world. I hope whatever they paid you was worth it, Slade. The chance to fight you is always worth it, Batman. I'm flattered. You should be. When a man earns my respect, that means I do not rest. I devote all of my energy, everything I have. You're killing him! I don't care who you are. You're dying just the same. You may have everyone in here fooled with your little Bruce Wayne charade, but not me, Batman. You'll never fool me. <sighs> Locked in here, surrounded by inferior minds. I can almost feel them sucking the intelligence out of me. 
I don't know what kind of operation these men are running here, but I demand to be moved. Do these idiots have no concept of privacy? Need to lose some weight. When the first. courts are through with you, and you're left desperately selling off what remains of your parents' legacy, perhaps I will generously open my checkbook. Bruce? <laughs> Wayne, what a pretty man hiding in that suit, like a big present. <laughs> Pig wants a hug. Pig wants to feel the nails in his chest. Rich or poor, it doesn't matter to me. Uh, Wayne Manor's next on my list when I get out. You're gonna be in here for a long time, Blackfire. Child, these bars cannot hold me. When the time comes, God will dissolve them like the hot wax of a candle. And I will be free. I'd keep praying if I were you. Oh, I will. I'll pray for everyone, for all Gotham's lost children, especially you, Batman. I'll do one special just for you. Well, I'll be damned. The billionaire Bruce Wayne. You can add avarice to that ever-growing list of sins. Looks like we both had our secrets, huh, Batman? I can't imagine yours ever involved burning down half the city. The cops around here seem to be taking it pretty well. I can't imagine everyone on the outside is gonna be so forgiving. Why bother with the mask, hero? You got nothing worth hiding now. I wanted to help people, but Gotham wouldn't let me. Good men don't last here, Bruce. Not when everybody knows who they are. Maybe you should think about changing your face. I've got a few ideas. I guess things are gonna get pretty crazy for you now that everyone knows who you are. If you need any help keeping the press off your back, just let us know. person inside that suit had to be messed up. It's done. Gotham is safe. Thank you, Bruce. For everything. Goodbye, Jim.
This is Vicki Vale for GCN reporting live outside Wayne Manor following the dramatic unmasking of billionaire playboy Bruce Wayne. Bruce Wayne, now known to be the masked vigilante Batman, enter his home, refusing to come. How it happened. This is how the Batman died. A friend once told me that criminals are a cowardly and superstitious lot. That the only way to beat them was to give them something to be scared of. I understand now. As his world grew darker, so did ours. When his war ended, our lives could begin again. He set us free to live, to love. There was an inquest, of course. Hundreds of suspects. Who killed Bruce Wayne? I guess we'll never know for sure. So what's next? Criminals are a cowardly and superstitious lot. What happens when they have nothing to be scared of? Who will protect Gotham now that the Batman is dead? Hey. Whoa, whoa, whoa! No one's coming, lady. Take his wallet. Hey, freak! Maybe you missed the news! Batman's dead! That look don't scare us no more. What the hell? <laughs> 